All right, next up is a dear friend of mine, Miss Joanna Bishop, Councilwoman elect. Joanna Bishop. I'm, I'm never going to get tired of saying that. And then come November 8th, I just want to call you Councilwoman or Your Majesty, whichever you prefer. <laughs> come on up, Joanna. Uh, she's going to speak for a few minutes about her campaign and what it was like, and then uh, talk to you about a very important matter about running for office yourself. Make sure you're nice and close to that microphone. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for everybody that actually showed up and voted because I'm telling you, it makes a difference. And I've been, I have been saying it the whole time and look what happened. We actually had a tie, a complete tie, 157 to 157. And so many people told me, that's, not, that's impossible, Johanna, that's impossible. And what did I say? I said, no, nothing's impossible. <laughs> With God, all things are possible. And so, so to me, I mean, cause I went, when they certified the votes, I was like, Lord, please let me get one more vote. <laughs> but it didn't work that way. It didn't work that way. I watched them vote, um, count all the votes. And it meant so much to me to even just be there. That whole experience was amazing. And when they, when they certified and they said it was truly tied, I said, well, I had been praying. I said, what am I supposed to do next? And so in my mind, you know, while I was going through all of that, I started coming up with a strategy. I mean, I, I still had people, I had so many people in the community that believed in me, that worked hard to talk to other people, to ask them to go vote. I went and I started calling people directly and asking them to go vote for me. I made new flyers, I did Facebook ads. Um, I realized that certain things and the way our community, the way everything is going, a lot of people don't listen to the radio. A lot of people don't watch TV now, real, real TV. I mean, we're streaming a lot. Um, but a lot of people's on Facebook. A lot of people, if you can get them to not screen their call, they will answer your call. <laughs> so I'm so thankful to win and to win by such a great margin. And I'm ready to get to work. I'm ready for people to vote for me November, November 8th now. You still have to vote again. I will be on the ballot. But not only that, we have Bill Kimler. He just stood up here and he just, he just, do you realize how great he does when he plans these events? The way he speaks. He is running against McCravey. We need. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you, me and Bill had a conversation before he even decided to run. I watched him talk at these events and I told him, I said, Bill, you need to be running. What are you doing? I'm, I'm serious. The man is awesome. And South Carolina would be wonderful, gracious to have somebody like Bill that's, that's got good sense, that truly cares about us. So I am so serious. We need to get busy and we need to be talking to people because word of mouth matters. It helped me win my election, and it will help Bill win, because we are having to rethink how we're getting, in, in getting to people and letting people know that we're running. Because a lot of people still didn't know I was running. I mean, I've been, like I said, I've been doing videos on Facebook. I've been doing, you know, talking to other people, having other people pass out flyers. But I wouldn't have been able to do it without the community help. So Bill's gonna need our help, y'all. He's gonna need our help. And not only that, my seat, my term at the school board level. I'm done in November. I'm done in November. So I need for people, not only for my seat, because we have seat one, which was mine, which is mine now, and I'm gonna finish it strong. <laughs> my seat, seat, that's district one. We got district two with Hillary Crago. We've got District 6 with Clay Sprouse, and we've got District 8 with Danielle Fields. Now, I serve with these people right now, and I love them, but I do believe that we can have more people stand up 
and do what's best for us and for our community. So I don't want anybody to go uncontested. I really don't. I don't think it's right. I don't think it's a part of our democratic process. I think we need to be voting for the best people possible because I'm in those rooms. I'm, I'm at that table. And sometimes it's hard for me to get things passed. Sometimes it's hard for me to get people to use common sense. So what we need is we need people that have good common sense that know what's going on in our community to stand up and to go and, and run these races. We need people, we need to put people in places that will not make crazy decisions. Because once they make decisions, what can we do? What can we do? So I need, for, I'm serious, I, when, it, when it was time for me to run for, for school board, nobody chose me but God. He laid it on my heart and I said, well, it was like, why not me? Why not me? I love to work hard. I love to problem solve. I love to help others. I love to listen to others because sometimes these people in these places do not listen. They don't listen. They don't listen to us. So why are they serving us? Why are they making decisions for us? So please y'all talk to your families, talk to your friends, help them to understand that, listen, even though I may not like all of the candidates that are on the ballot November 8th, I'm going to vote. I'm going. We still, I'm serious, it matters. So many people say it don't matter, I don't like the candidates. I don't even vote straight Democratic, be honest with y'all. I don't. I vote for who has the best sense, who is gonna make sure that they gonna do what's best for us. That's who we need to vote for. So I'm telling you, your vote, your voice matters. It mattered for me in my campaign. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much for everybody that did just one small thing for me, because it mattered. It mattered, you matter, and I know I matter. So thank y'all. Thank you, Joanna. Please stay up there. Please stay. Yes. First of all, um, I did not pay Johanna for those words. That was not a paid endorsement, so thank you. That came from the heart. Uh, so that, that's wonderful. Um, next, we have a, a couple of minutes for some questions for Johanna, if anybody has one. I know somebody has a question. Not necessarily uh, a specific question because I'm not in your district. Yes, ma'am. But I think I've heard there was so much confusion uh, with a lot of people about who was in who was in your district. Yes, ma'am. And I'm sure that can be the same thing with any uh, candidate running. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we'll, what can we be doing to make sure that the people? You know, like knowing all of the conditions, like knowing that line, you know, mm -hmm. what he was mentioning about where your map goes. Yes, ma'am. And those people knowing exactly now from here to here, because across the street is one candidate or uh, one district and, a, and a, on the other side of the street is another district. And people get confused but because they think that, well, this person got to be my candidate because the people across the street from me, that's their candidate, so it must be mine. So we need to make sure of, of letting people know where our lines are and, and knowing who their representatives actually are. And when we go out to talk to people yes, about voting, you know, and uh, to know now, because confusion, was there some confusion about who to vote for and where your lines and all? Yes, was that? Well, yes, ma'am, there was. And I had people actually call me. And one thing about me is if I can find out the answer for you, I'm going to find out. So um, there was a lot of, there was a lot of confusion, but it's because they changed the district lines. So I've had people that tried to vote for me, but they could not because the district lines had changed. But we can, we can get in, in touch with Bill. Bill can help, I can help. Um, and then not only that, um, Greenwood County Voters Registration can help. That's the main thing is we need to make sure that we reach out to the people that can help us. And no matter what, you, you're gonna be voting for somebody. I mean, you, we, still, we still need to be voting for somebody, but do your research before you go to the poll. Because you want to make sure that when you're voting, you're voting for the right person. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I don't have a question. I don't have a question. 
don't have a question for Joanna, but I just want you all to turn your sheet to the inside cover. I see, I do not see County Council District 1. That seat is also up in, de in uh, it's up, now, it will be up in December, but there will be an election in November. And I don't see Teresa Griffith's name in the play. She's right here, but we're not on this sheet, so we'll get that straight because that seat will be open, but we're not listed. I, it's, County Council District 1, our Democratic candidate is Ms. Teresa Griffin, and indeed that was an oversight. There are two names in that agenda that are missing, but they are on our website. It's Teresa Griffin for District 1, and Peggy Butler for Secretary of State. She's also running, and I'm going to have her uh, down here to speak with us shortly. So we will make sure to push out all the names of all the candidates as best we can. And of course, Ms. Griffin, you're invited to speak anytime you like. I was you, just, you get the podium. I was just asking her that. When was she speaking? Teresa Griffin. So these local candidates, like Teresa Griffin, like myself, like Ms. Ann Parks, we all need your help. This is a group effort. We can't do it ourselves. I intend to knock on every one of the 18,000 doors in, <laughs> in District 13, uh, but I know my spirit may be willing and the flesh may not get me there. So we'll definitely need some extra bodies and some extra support. Thank you, Joanna. <laughs> Governor Bishop. Do you like the sound of that? <laughs> Governor Bishop. Senator Bishop, I can go with that. This is just the start. This is just the start. 